Joining me now to discuss, Texas Congressman Roger Williams. Sir, it's good to see you. What's in it for Americans? Why should, why should we have faith in a government that on one hand refuses to protect the homeland, on the other hand sending billions of dollars we don't have to protect other people's homelands? Yeah, I, I think people are tired of uh, the, the, the verbiage back and forth and some of the rhetoric. Uh, look, at, as you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a border guy. The biggest problem we have, the biggest crisis we have, it's an invasion we've had is through our, through our southern border. We need to address it first before we go anywhere else. Uh, that's where I stand. But the biggest problem we have is the invasion. Of tw- and we've got 20 million people here, Chris. We don't even know who they are, what they are, what they plan on doing. They're here and they're not going to leave. Uh, and we need to uh, we, we need to go about and, and, and stop it. We need to do the things we talked about, build the wall, put more court uh, p- people down there, you know, stay in Mexico policy, all the things you've talked about work. But I'm a border first guy, and, and, and that's where we need to be. And I think I know that's where the people are, and certainly my people in the, my district. Yeah, well, the, the House recently voted to renew the spy tool that you know very well, FISA. Eighty-six of your fellow Republicans voted with Joe Biden and the Democrats to allow the FBI to continue to spy on Americans without a warrant. Now, you voted no. But with, with this vote, I can only conclude that a majority in the Congress is now dedicated to abuse of our people by a big, unaccountable government and not provisions in the Constitution like the Fourth Amendment that constrains government. Is my assessment fair? Well, I think people uh, are, are worried about the Constitution being abused everywhere. Fourth Amendment search and seizure is one that is now becoming, people are starting to look at. Uh, it's one that needs to be protected, like the first, second, third, and the others. And uh, I just think that uh, we, need, we, we need to dial it back and make it easy on ourselves. What the Constitution say? What's our district say? And, uh, and, and, and listen to the people that we represent. It'd be a lot easier. It seemed like we try to make this stuff as we go up as we go along. No, no, no kidding. And I think there's a majority of our people out there, Congressman, who didn't want the FBI to get away with abusing us and wanted these protections for us. But as as I pointed out, that you weren't one of them, but 86 of your Republican colleagues ignored uh, their their constituents concerned. Uh, Congressman, since since the GOP took control of the House, there have been really no GOP policy wins. In fact, the GOP hasn't even slowed the Democrats down voting to fully fund the, the Democrats cancerous agenda repeatedly. We can point to the Mayorkas impeachment, but it took over a year to get that done. And, and after he was impeached, it took a couple months to send the articles over to the Senate. Are, are GOP voters right to assume that the Republican Party doesn't have the desire or maybe the intellect to oppose this current vicious form of the Democrat Party that shows signs of going completely Marxist? Yeah. Well, that's what we have up here. I mean, you've got uh, socialism, you've got Marxism versus versus capitalism. I know that people want to see wins. I know they watch TV all the time. They see this, they see that. They want wins. Republicans need wins. We're sitting on a, what, a two-vote margin right now, majority, uh, which is dangerous. You can't have too many people peel off. But the fact of the matter is we need, we need to push conservative values. Uh, we need to push less government. We need to push the fact that uh, America needs borders, all the things that we got elected to do. Look at Chris, we own the economy. We own the border. Let's get it done. And let's quit trying to do some of these other things that frankly people are not interested in as much as securing the border and protecting, uh, protecting their future uh, and, uh, in, in this country. I mean, th- this Ukraine thing, I mean, you know, we talk about giving money to Ukraine on a loan. I asked today what the terms and conditions are of the loan. What's the interest rate? What's the collateral? I wasn't, <laughs> and nobody told me. And then they said it might be written off in two years. Well, that's not a loan. Uh, so those are the kind of things people are tired of hearing about, and I'm tired of, uh, of having to ask about. Yeah, and that's the, that's the Biden student loan provision, you know. Oh, yeah, you're never going to have to pay it back. Congressman, I can't thank you enough for your no vote on FISA. And, and I'm with you, man. We got to start def- referring back to the Constitution. Appreciate the